کس که از او چرخ و هوا رخص کنند جانهاز خوشی بی سر و پا رخص کنند در گوش تو گویم که کجا رخص کنند ذره که در هوا و در همون است نیکونه گرش که هم چما مفتون است هر ذره اگر خوش است اگر محزون است سرگشته خورشیده خوش I remember my, my uh, you know, my stepfather, you know, would beat me and he, you know, he would beat me with extension cords and, and, and hangers and, you know, pieces of wood and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, after every beating, he would tell me, you know, it hurt me more than it hurt you. And, you know, I only did it because I love you. It was kind of, you know, it communicated the wrong message to me about what love was. So for many years, you know, I thought that love was supposed to hurt. And um, I hurt everyone that I love. And I measured love by how much pain someone would take from me. Um, and it wasn't until I came to prison in an environment that is devoid of love that I began to have some sort of understanding about what it actually was and was not. And I met someone, um, and she gave me my first real insight into what love was because she saw past my conditions. And the fact that I was in prison with a life sentence for murder, not, and not only for murder, but for doing the worst kind of murder that a man can do, murdering a woman and a child. And it was Agnes, the mother and grandmother of Patricia and Chris, the woman and child that I murdered, who gave me my best lesson about love because by all rights, she should hate me. But she didn't. And you know, over the course of time and through the journey that we took, <laughs> that's been pretty amazing. She gave me love and <clears throat> She taught me what it was.
حتى من أول لحظة حملت فيها الإسلاح كان في نوع من أنواع الخوف الخوف موجود عند كل البشر وخايف كمان إني أشيل دم أو كذا وهيك أو إني شيلت السلاح أنا صرت ب ب يعني من معلم مدرسة إلى مسلح بس في شيء أجبرني يعني في في مناظر أو أمور أجبرتني لما أحيانا بيسألني إنه يعني أحيانا بتخطر ببال أفكار إنه بابا ليش الحرب هاي كلها ما بدها تنتهي؟ إنه بابا ليش أنت مثلا تقتل العسكري؟ العسكري ما عنده أب وأم عم يستنوه وعم ينتظروا مثلنا يعني بابا بقول له ايه مزبوط الكلام بابا كان ليش بابا بقول له بابا لانه هو على خطا واحنا على صح طيب ليش هو على خطا إيه بابا هو على خطا هو عم يقتل الاطفال عم يقتل عائلات عم ي... عم يدنس المساجد عم يقصر المساجد يا بابا احنا عم ندافع عن الشيء هذا فاحنا بنحاول دائما الاطفال نبين لهم كل الامور هاي يعني انه صحيح انا حملت سلاح بس حملته في شغلات اجبرتني على حمله ولا مو حب انه ارتكب انه احمل دم ب ب على رقبتي مدى الحياه واحس بذنب انه انا قتلت انسان، لا ما حد بيحب يقتل انسان او يلوث ايديه بالدماء. ما بخافش من الموت، انا يعني بخافش من الموت بس لاجل سوريا. بخافش من الموت لاجل ابوي وها لو انه ما توفاش ابوي كان بخاف من الموت. ما اسمع ما بخافش من الموت، لو انهم يذبحوني يموتوني يفجروني بقذيفه ما بخافش. مو من نول حق ابوه ولا ظني بسوريا مجي تشوف معك مني مجي لنا كاني اتشينو نيو كاجاني نشورا كي بجيرغا ni byo nabonye muri icyo gihe uko umuntu yica gundi ona kaza gate mundi uko ikintu cyatuma ntabyibagirwa muri icyo gihe hapfuye umuryango wanje mwinshi bicaga abantu mbireba si yo nashobora kwibagirwa nuko no umuntu yazagate mundi mbireba na maso yanje kuruhaye rwanje numva ari ari ibintu nashobora kuba nakibagirwa kuko ni ibintu byabaye mbona ko ari ikintu kidasanzwe nkabona ko nashobora kuba nakibagirwa cyo kintu Nolubgo, uko mje chini hamba na yine, na rindi mambo kichinu chamba waje chani, uko kara hunde, maze kuhonga, base, handu kana na wapje, maze kutano kana na wapje, ba hunde yine, ba ho. Bamu masaka, bamu hafi ni tume rubiri. Ukumbese nyuma ya ho, muna la zaram fata, aram kirango, ukese ngo 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 rijit. Kewe na rokubra kuna rondunga na chale, ha kuna rinzi kutano kanya moto mo motot, kuna rinbis. Muna huko ngoko, akajam fata, akafati nochi zange, akajenda fatu mobiri wange, akafuka ngo. 
ngo ndo umututsi ngo rimba ntaro umututsi ngo ndavangiye akayabwira abo bantu ngo nibandase ngo bankureho none aho nkavye mu gese murandase munyica muranyiciriki ko ari nta kibi nakoze muranyiciriki none aho ngo nyuma yaho haza ngo bararasa cyane amasasu menshi cyane maze kuba sa amasasu menshi cyane ndiruka none aho maze kwiruka aho ngese hose haje mbona ni mirambo y'abantu ni mirambo y'abantu amaraso noho ngeze aho ubwo nahise nicara ndavuga nti mana bibuka ushaka yanagira imana nkarokoka فوت عنا على البيت طبعا لقيت الباب مفتوح مخلوع خلع وكان في برا حفرة زاتين كانوا قنبلة فوت يعني تلاقيت أبوي مدد وأخوتي من وراء هيك لأنه أول ما فاتوا طخوا عنا بالبيت كان أبوي هو فتح لنا الباب وقال لنا فيش عنا حدا فيش عنا مقاتلين قالوا له طيب روح كانوا صافين أخوتي على الحيط وأمي قالوا له انت روح روح صف معهم وهو عم بعده عم بفتل بلشوا اطلاق النار طبعا الطلقات اجوا بظهره وقلب وبلشوا اطلاق النار على جميع اخوتي انا كنت يعني بس اثناء المجزره ب 82 كنت شاب وعم بكمل دراستي يعني ما كنت افكر اني اكره الناس او احقد على حدا بس هاي المجزره طبعا خلتني اعيد التفكير بكثير امور يعني خلتني افكر مين بحبني مين بكرهني مين يعني ليش صارت هالشغله حتى صرت افكر بابعد من هيك فهي خلت يعني عندي حب الكراهيه وحب الانتقام والطأر وهيك انا ما كنت اصلا انسان ما مخلوق على هالشغلات هي بتصير مع الوقت او مع الاشياء اللي بتصير معه هو بتصير ان كان حب او كراهيه يعني مش من طبيعه الواحد يحب اي شخص الا من بعد ما يجربه فانا بس جربت هالمجزره وعشتها وعانيت منها صار عندي حب الكراهيه للناس اللي ارتكبوها تقدر تسامحيني اذا انا قتلت بيك او خيك وما ما في قانون حسبني ما وصلك حقك تقدر تسامحيني انت بتسامحيني اذا انا قتلت خيك سامحيني او بيك او امك اكيد ما راح تسامحيني نهائيا ما راح اسامح ولا بدي اقول لك ما راح اسامح تونغانا تنتي ميني سا سو مون تيك ميتي ميكونا تشانجي باكا تنتي بريتي ميتي فونجي تونغانا مي فازو بيكي بيتين بي دي نانغوندا سو فيمينا نيزو بيتين بي دي بي فازو اكو وو سي كامين بينغا كي بيكي بي فونجي ديجا فريت ميزو بي كانغ باتلو سو كامين ديجا نامين زو اكو وو سي يسي مي فاغوا سي 10 او 15 Being on the key, come and be sad. I live in a legend on the first time. So, my girl, the queen, make a man, man, Zunga, a queen, but you know, if you bet me not there, be just the tranquil. At the end of the day, by the time of the Milouim, I felt the courage of the Yehuda Shali. It was my habit to meet a bed, be far, be far away from him. And after I felt the courage. היינו צריכים להוציא אותו וירינו על הקירות כדי שהוא ידע שאנחנו החזקים. ויצאה מן הבית אישה עם ילדה לידיים וילדה קטנה לידה. זה היה שלוש לפנות בוקר והילדה בבהלה רצה לקראתנו. פחדתי שהיא תתפוצץ עליי ועל החיילים. צעקתי לה לעצור בערבית, היא לא עצרה. יריתי כדור מעל הראש שלה והיא עצרה. ובאותו רגע נעצר גם משהו בי. וזה היה הרגע הקצר הארוך ביותר בחיי. הילדה נשארה בחיים, וגם אני נשארתי בחיים. אבל באותו רגע מת משהו בשנינו. בילד שיורים עליו משהו מת, אני לא יודע מה, אבל משהו מת. במבוגר שיורה על ילד, משהו מת, וכשמשהו מת, משהו חדש, משהו חדש, 
חייב להיוולד. התחושה של הבושה שיריתי בה, התחושה של הכאב, ובעיקר התחושה של פרק האצבע המורה ביד ימין שלחצה על ההדק, ירדה על ילדה. אני חושב שזו נקודה שמשהו חדש התחיל להיוולד. There was a moment, um, and the reason his face is, is always going to be with me. There was a moment when he looked at me, um, and our eyes kind of met, and at that moment, it was like everything else disappeared. There was no sound, and it was just two people looking each other in the eyes. And just for a moment connecting as like two human beings in an event that is beyond any of their control. But at that moment, he, was, he wasn't a terrorist. He wasn't an insurgent. He wasn't an Iraqi. He was a scared man. And he was asking me for help. Um, from that moment on, um, the war changed for me. It became a little more scary. And it became a little more, uh, I started to question decisions a little more. Um, because of that event, it, um, it put a face. Um, that scared crying uh, man peeing himself <laughs> could be any or all of them. One of the most impactful things that will occur after being in combat is the feeling of killing another human being. Once you've experienced it, you'll see that it's not like anything else that you've experienced before. And unfortunately, that feeling, your body will want to experience again. It's, it's really difficult to try to explain to somebody, explain to somebody what that feeling's like. Um, right now, I still feel like experiencing that again. And it's probably why I keep a loaded weapon in my house. I, yearn or desire for someone to try to to hurt me or to break in or to give me an excuse to use that violence against somebody else again
On the 16th of January 2007, an Israeli border police shot and killed my 10 years old daughter, Abir, in front of her school in Anata, where I live. She was with her sister and two other friends, 9.30 in the morning. In her head, in the back, from a distance of 15 to 20 meters, by a rubber bullet. Abir wasn't a fighter. She was just a child. She don't know anything about the conflict, and she is not part of this conflict. Unfortunately, she lost her life because she's a Palestinian. I'm an Israeli who lost his uh, daughter to a suicide bombing on the 4th of uh, September 1997. And I'm uh, a product of uh, of an education system. These are two societies at war. And uh, they socialize the young generation to make them being able to sacrifice themselves when time comes. And this is uh, true to Palestinian society, and this is also true to Israeli society. Because we are human beings, sometimes you think, if I kill, the killer, or anyone from the other side, from the Israelis, or maybe 10. This will give me back my daughter. No. I'll cause another pain and another victim to the others. I decide to break this circle of violence and blood and revenge by stop killing and revenge and support revenge by myself. My definition of sides have changed dramatically. Today, on my side are all those who want peace and are willing to pay the price of peace, and the other side are those who do not want peace and are not willing to pay the price of peace. Many people told me that it's not your right to forgive in her name. And the answer, it's also not my right to revenge in her name. I hope she, she's satisfied. I hope she rests in peace. A story that came out of a German German in the SS, in the ghetto, and in the night of a night, my mother said, take my child. And she told him that she took the ground and she took the ground and she took the ground that I was a child. כאמור, יהודייה בת שנתיים וחצי, והיא בלב כואב מספרת שהיא מעבירה אותי לידיים של איש מופלא במדי אס אס. היום אנחנו יודעים שאותו אדם, הלוי זה פלבה, שירת בצבא הגרמני, כי זה היה, הוא חי בגבול גרמניה, אבל למעשה הוא לקח אותי למעיל שלו, הכניס אותי לתוך המעיל שלו כתינוקת, ומעביר אותי אל... גבול גרמניה, פולין, לבית הוריו. והם מגדלים אותי, הוא מספר שאני בתו הלא חוקית, והם מגדלים אותי, הופכים אותי לנוצרייה קתולית, הם מגדלים אותי עד סוף המלחמה. איזה מחווה, איזה מקסם, איזה יד מושטת, חוויה של ניצוצות של אור בתוך דברים שהם נקראים טירוף של אנושות. אם אני רוצה ומעלה בדעתי לשאול את עצמי, האם אני הייתי יכולה להיות בתוך אחד המקומות האלה, ואולי הקשה ביותר, האם הייתי יכולה להיות במקום של אותו קצין גרמני? איך, איך, איך אנחנו יכולים בכלל לענות על השאלה הזאת? איך אפשר? אני לא מאמינה שהיה לי את כוחות הנפש האלה לעשות את זה. אם אני שואלת את עצמי את השאלה, אולי כן? איך הוא ידע שזה קרה לו? מי יודע שיש בתוכו, ואיך מתחברים אל אותו רגע אמת שאפשר להקריב את, את עצמך, את חייך היחידים, למען מישהו אחר? אולי שאלה ללא מענה, אולי שאלה שאחרים יוכלו לענות עליה, אבל זה כאילו מתבקש לשאול את זה.
el amor, <risa> el amor es el origen y es el fin. El amor es de donde venimos y a donde vamos y lo que pasamos en medio. El amor es todo. Amor. La palabra amor es muy significativa para mí. Porque cuando se habla de amor, lo abarca todo. Amor lo abarca todo, ¿verdad? Donde no hay amor no hay nada. Estamos vacíos. O me siento vacía. Amor. Porque el amor, el amor es que llena el alma. Ah, güey. Eh, llevo 13 años con mi esposa. Una persona maravillosa. Somos de carácter diferente. Creo que por eso nos concatenamos. Pero... Es para mí a, a, a alguien especial. Es, es mi otra mitad, femenina. Mm, la quiero mucho. Tenemos un niño de 11 años. Eh, puedo vivir sin ella, pero sin ella no puedo estar. ¿Entiendes? Creo que el amor es, es día a día. Se vive todos los días. ¿Entiendes? Y el amor es, lo, es ese sentimiento que tú eres capaz de, como te expliqué, de transmitir y que te lo transmitan igual a ti. Mi esposa es una persona de un de fuerte, parece eh, el guía de la familia. Pero la quiero mucho. <ríe> es magnífica. ¿Ok? Pienso que el amor le... El amor le... Ese sentimiento que buscamos y no todo el mundo lo encuentra, yo sí. ¿Ok? Si usted no tiene sexo, usted en el amor va fracasando. Oiga bien, porque a través del amor viene el sexo. Si usted no tiene sexo, usted va fracasando. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué dice esa mujer? Dice, no, pero ven acá. Este hombre me da amor, me da sexo, eh, me da amor, me da comida, me da ropa, me da todo, pero no hay sexo. ¿Y qué voy a hacer yo? Este hombre ni furipa. ¿Qué va a ser el hogar? El hogar se va a destruir. Porque después del amor es eso. Y eso, y por eso viene el amor. De lo contrario, no hay nada. Sí. 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 Ay, sí. Sí, señor. Hola. Hola, hola. Así que como puse en cuestión. Eh, si quieres amorosa, eh, podría morir, yo me lloré. Je fa. C'est à dire que j'allais au fait, mais j'allais pas au bal parce que, pour vous dire la vérité, jamais je suis dansé. J'ai eu essayé, mais ça marchait pas. Ahora ya abandoné. Cuando se ha ganado que está justamente en el mundo de los sin caramo, de ahí antes yo que más, de mo a tus tachos me, mo, y si no lo ni mo la arena tú no lo hiciste, mo y yo que hiciste, con ello te va, y si no lo encara, a no ello de y si no lo to co hiciste. Se me ha conocido. Si casi, un si no no gay, yo que ataca, yo que ataca, si no me tenga, yo que ataca, 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 yo que まあそういうことがあったんですが、私もあの体の方も良かったり悪かったですけれども、なんとか生きることができて、両親からも許しが出てね、八年七年半で私一緒になることができたんです。で、まあそういうことでありますのでね、私らはあのあの何か苦しいことがあったら、あの時のことを思ったら我慢できるとこういうわけで。本当に喧嘩をしたことも何もありません。
Je pense que quand on épouse quelqu'un, on épouse quelqu'un euh, tel qu'il est. Voilà, à l'instant T, on l'aime, euh, il est comme ça. J'ai eu cet accident, euh, j'ai plus, plus de bras, plus de jambes. Elle n'a pas épousé un gars qui n'avait pas de bras et pas de jambes, quoi. Donc, euh, mais elle a tenu le choc pendant un, un certain paquet d'années, quoi, un certain nombre d'années. Et il y a eu ce qui arrive à tout le monde, on s'est séparés, quoi. Il y a eu un divorce, euh, et euh, il a fallu que je redémarre une nouvelle vie. Donc, euh, il a fallu trois ans pour que je guérisse de cette rupture, trois ans. Et au bout de trois ans, je me suis dit, mais tu ne vas pas rester tout seul. Donc, on vit dans une époque formidable, je me suis inscrit sur Internet, sur un site de rencontre. Et au début, j'avais mis que ma tête, que la photo de la tête. Le reste, c'était dans la prochaine surprise. <rire> pas de bras, pas de jambes, je ne l'avais pas montré. Et donc, euh, effectivement, je rigolais bien sur Internet. Et à partir du moment où j'ai annoncé mon handicap, il n'y avait plus personne derrière. Plus personne ne voulait me répondre. Alors, j'ai annoncé mon handicap. Et un jour, j'ai rencontré Susanna. Et voilà. L'amour aussi, c'est possible. L'amour aussi, ça fait huit ans qu'on est ensemble. Susanna avec ses trois filles, moi avec mes deux garçons. On a un chien borgne, quatre chats, un cochon d'Inde. Voilà, c'est une grande famille recomposée. Et ouais, tout est possible. L'amour a été là une nouvelle fois. Et on s'aime vraiment très, très fort. Donc, c'est ça qui est cool. وقت ما قررت طلق وأخ... وأصرت على القرار طلع زوجة عبيت أهلي و... وفات على البيت كان الباب مفتوح فات على البيت ضربني بالسكينة وهو هذا كان يمكن أصعب موقف بمرق عليه بحياتي إنه أنا عن جد شفت الموت قدام عيوني بس كمان كان كابوس ما صدقت إنه فكرت إنه كان يحكي حكي بس إنه يعملها ما كنت أتخيل مهما كانت صارت يعني إنسان حبني وحبيته وعشت معه عشر سنين وبناتنا أولاد فما صدقت قلت له شادي اسمه شادي ثواني كان صار ضاربني كم سكينة واعتبرت حالي حموت يعني إنه بصراحة تشاهدت وقعت بأرضي صار بعد مشكل سريع طلع خي على الصوت وهيدا الصدمة الثانية اللي كانت أنا بعدني سامعة الصوت مش غايبة عن الوعي كتير الصدمة الثانية إنه بنتي فاتت على الصالون على الغرفة اللي أنا كنت مقتولي فيها طلعت تصرخ ماما ماتت ماما ماتت هاي كانت يمكن أكتر أصعب شيء تمره بحياتي إنه أنا حس إنه بنتي فوت على المستشفى غرفة العمليات وأنا أقول له للدكتور بنتي بنتي صرخ فيني الدكتور قال لي مش حاسه بحالك حاسه بحالك انسي بنتك وانسي كل العالم بنتي وامي خفت علينا كثير من الصدمة وكانت هي بداية حياتي مش نهاية حياتي من وقتها صممت وقررت انه حياة عبير تتغير 360 درجة كان لازم انه تتغير الحمد لله لحد هلا بعدني صوم الحمد لله. After being married for 50 years, 49, 51 years, but my wife took seriously ill um, just before we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. And she suffered terribly for about two years as an invalid. For the last two years of her life, I was her nurse, I was her doctor, I was her friend, I was her lover, I was her husband. And I had to bath her, I had to feed her, I had to dress her, I had to push her around in a wheelchair and attend to her, all her needs. Um, everybody wanted me to get a nurse, full-time nurse, day and night nurse to look after her because she couldn't sleep. She was up 24 hours a day at all odd times. And she begged me not to. She only wanted me to look after her. And I loved doing it for her. And I did it by myself. I carried her to the car. I carried her oxygen tank, I carried her wheelchair, I packed it in the car, I took it out, I pushed her around, I put it back, I took her home, I bathed her, I put her to bed, and I loved it, that I was able to do it for her without anyone else, and she appreciated it. That's love. <laughs> Ya 
ตะมาโอเวมาอะลุมนูมาเปียวบาเนโลอะเมยะชุจุตะตานเนพุเซนพิเศษจีเนฮาโอจมาโอเมยะตายเปิ้นบาโลจมาบาโลเนเนบาอ
Oh no, io non avrei mai pensato e, e non mi sarebbe mai piaciuto essere un uomo. Perché la vita di un uomo è una vita facile. Troppo. E le vite facili ti portano alla noia. È facile raggiungere gli obiettivi professionali. È forse anche più facile raggiungere la preda sentimentale. Per noi donne è tutto più difficile. Però eh, con la difficoltà c'è anche il fascino di arrivare alla meta con difficoltà. E quindi preferisco eh, senza dubbio essere donna. Eso es una, eso es, eso es impotencia lo que siento cuando alguien mmm, piensa, yo, es más, llega alguien a, a alguna mujer más bajita al kiosco y hay algo alto y me dice, ay, a ver si viene un hombre y lo coge. Cago un día, un hombre va a venir, pega un puño y pega un sarto, teniendo yo dos manos, a mí me va a hacer falta un hombre. Cago en el escopetín. Me da mucho coraje, me da mucha rabia. Mm, esa es mi... No me gusta que... No me gusta que las mujeres... No quiero, no me siento bien cuando intentan discriminarme por ser mujer. Esa es la rabia o ese es el punto que yo más, más me toca y más me molesta. Tala ya, Wiji. Hata make-up, ¿sah? ¿Molifti o la? Yani, si el hombre tala fi, ¿hay estar y tala fi o la? ¿Hay estar y tala fi? Awal nazra, ilu, adi. Bas, si el hombre tala el tani o el talti, fasarat ale. Ana, acadet ism. No, la ni kunt hata make-up, o acadet ism, o la ni kunt tala ale. ¿Lesh la ni ana fatantu? وبتعرفي الرجال انه بيفتنوا بسرعه بجمال البنت فهيك هن عم ياخذوا اثم فهذا انا اللي عم بعمله غلط يعني انا المفروض اسلامي لما تحجبت عم بغطي اشياء حلوه عندي انا هدفي اني اصير ملتزمه اكثر من هيك فبحب الشخص اللي ارتبط فيه ملتزم يعرف انه هاي الاشياء غلط فيقول لي ممنوع تعملي هيك انا بمشيش غير هيك بالراس <تصفيق> انا يعني بصراحه ما اخذت جوز يعني الحب هو ابن عمي ما فكرت بالحب انا كثير يعني هي صارت عادات وتقاليد مو اكثر <تصفيق> ليك خليته بسوريا وهربت <تصفيق> لو بحبه كان شفته <تصفيق> مو اورا مي سينتو ليبري بوركي بوذو اسير ديفرنتس كوزاس سين مدير التيمبو اديماس Estoy divorciada. Perdón. Disculpe. Yo creo que eso no es relevante, ¿no? Perdón. ¿Quieren que lo haga otra vez? ¿Está bien? Yo sé que no es para sonreír esto, pero... Pero me siento bien ahora, me siento libre. Mon mari a deux femmes. Il est polygami, il a deux femmes. Ouais, ici au Sénégal, tu vois, la polygamie, il y a des gens qui ont quatre femmes, il y a des gens qui ont trois femmes, il y a qui ont deux femmes, mais il y a qui ont que, que une seule femme. C'est le choix. Mais même il y en a qui ont six, sept, huit, neuf, jusqu'à dix ans. Mais moi, mon mari a deux femmes. Deux femmes. Je suis la première et l'autre est la deuxième. Et vraiment, nous vivons paisément. C'est mon ami, cette dame-là. Vraiment, il m'aime. Elle m'aime et moi aussi, je l'aime. Heureusement que chez nous, la polygamie chez les femmes, ce n'est pas possible. Parce que, j'ai dit heureusement pourquoi Parce que si ma femme devrait en aimer un autre plus moi, je suis sûr que ça n'allait pas être évident. Ça allait être très compliqué parce que moi, je suis extrêmement jaloux. Extrêmement jaloux. Je ne pourrais pas supporter que ma femme passe la nuit dans les bras d'un autre monsieur et puis le lendemain revenir passer une autre nuit avec moi. Je ne supporterai jamais ça. C'est pour ça que je dis que heureusement que la polygamie chez les femmes n'est pas possible ici au Burkina. Quoi. Parce que ma foi, je ne m'imagine pas. When I went and stayed with my, with, my, with my wife at her house in San Francisco, she's not my wife, but the one I'm on with, the woman I'm with, she, this was about a week after we started dating. And I woke up in the morning and I said, so, you know, I asked this of you and this of you and this of you. And, you know, you're hesitating. 
but like the woman I'm with can't have a, a list of no's. Like it's got to be pretty much all yeses or we don't have a relationship. I mean, that's just where I'm at. And it took her about a month after I pointed that out to her to realize that these no's could not exist. And so that's how very little shitty my woman is. She's, she's freaking very unique, very amazing. She gives me, like, she was raised to, like, adore her man, like old school Mexican, like, know when to speak up. And that doesn't mean you can't tell me something. That doesn't mean you can't share. That doesn't mean I don't want guidance. But in my household, the man is the man of the house. Okay. À la maison, les week-ends, c'est moi qui fais la cuisine. Et un jour, un ami est venu me voir en train de faire la cuisine. Et il m'a demandé que, mais écoute, Asen, c'est toi qui fais la cuisine? J'ai dit oui. Que, mais et ta femme, elle est malade? J'ai dit non, elle n'est pas malade. J'ai dit, mais elle se repose. Que tu laisses ta femme faire la cuisine? Et tu, tu fais la cuisine pendant que ta femme se repose dedans? J'ai dit oui, mais elle a, elle a besoin du chemin de repos. Et il m'a dit ce jour-là, ma femme ne viendra jamais te rendre visite. Pas tout simplement parce que tu vas lui mettre des idées à la, dans, dans la tête. Et quand elle va revenir à la maison, Je lui ai dit de faire la cuisine moi aussi. Et je lui ai dit non, je lui ai dit, mais il faut, faut que tu comprennes parce qu'en en fait, elles ont besoin de ce repos-là. Moi, en tout cas, ça me fait plaisir souvent lorsque je fais la cuisine pour toute la famille. Je ne peux pas me travailler. 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 Je ne Kandi ukwe kula mo nuko na numbaga na zawa shakwe gani zako kwenye gaga mti gomba mo bivangomga kuna na rika na haga la rakwe gaga koko numbaga nza nze shuwa cha ne mnyaya kamish kwanza kure runga na gukora buri chime cho senga mo kuzanga suli mimi shule ngomba ni wenu vitari hafi yangu na vuta ero binge de chira kuri andafungo. Et <laughs> Mansamadekar <laughs> Jika nama pun kami ni, apa dua kali mana gibuk buku ni ya, antun nga nang anak mi firma minti kubunog ni ya, mau tong murag di na kuma antus, matag pito pa ang anak namo, di na kuma antus, aku ngipatay siya. Kay, mas maayo man siya, kay, wa man siya magpangga sa, sa among pamilya. Ako nagpangga man ko sa akong pamilya, sa akong mga anak. There is a way out of being abused. For me, it was tough because I used to have the worst abuse. I would have a gun put to my head and 
get told to go on my knees and beg for my, my life. Um, and I would do it just, my kids used to be watching. Or I get put out, out of the house, I get kicked out of the house and have to sleep outside on the steps. And if I moved from there, I would get a hiding the next day. It was tough because I thought it was me. I was the one that was doing something wrong in our marriage. Um, and one day, I went to work and um, I was sitting in my office and I thought, I closed my door, I can remember that day very well. I closed my door and I cried. I had just been battered the, ne the night before and I thought I needed to move on. And um, one particular woman came and knocked on my door and she said, can I come inside? And I said, yeah, and she said, I need to talk to you. And you now we had this conversation about the abused woman. And um, I said to her, I'm not being abused. And she said, Denisha, yes, you are. It's all over your face, but people won't see it because I always, like I said, love to smile. Um, and then we spoke about my kids. And, you know, when I started talking about my kids, those were the most important thing of my life. And I thought, if I don't move on out of here, I'm either going to be dead or my kids are going to be dead. So I need to move on. I need to do something. And I went home that day and I said to him, I'm leaving. Um, and I think Mark got a bit of a shock because he didn't realise that I was leaving. And he said, no, you'll never leave me. You've never, you will never leave me. You love me too much. And I said, well, you know what? That's what love is about, leaving. And I gave him two choices, and I only gave him two choices. I said to him, you either go for counselling or I leave. And you know what? Today he's a better man. He's never lifted a hand up for me ever since the day. That's about nine years ago. So nine years ago, I was still an abused woman. So...
I am gay. And I've known, I've liked girls ever since I was a little girl. And I kept it a secret from my family. And my dad, I remember when Ellen DeGeneres came out, it was the first time I ever heard of the word gay before. And my parents were talking about it. And I asked my dad, Dad, what is gay? And he goes, it's a girl who likes another girl and they're going to hell. And so I said, OK. And I walked straight up to my room, closed the door very quietly, and then I bawled my eyes out into my pillow. And I prayed to God every day to please let me like boys. Please make me straight, because I knew I liked girls. And so I tried. I tried pretending I liked boys and stuff, but I never did. And then I met, to me, the love of my life. And her name was Jen. And gosh, it was just like my world changed. And I didn't really care about anything else. I just knew I wanted to be near her. And that was love to me. Mm. Yeah, being a lesbian is not a choice, I man. Something that is inside you. And that is, that no one can, can help or it's not curable or it's not a disease actually. Because they always say we sick. They, the, our families even take us to the doctors, to the sangomas. But ah, it just stay there. It's difficult with my grandmother because she doesn't approve with, with me being a lesbian. And she hates the fact that I'm one. Even I had to leave home and go stay on the streets because the, of my sexuality. I even had to force myself with guys so that my granny can approve to get my granny's approval. And it hurts because I had to do stuff that I don't know, I really, really didn't want to do. Even though I did that, I even asked a friend of mine who is a dude to pretend as if he's my boyfriend. But that guy, what he did, he forced himself to me, and then he left me with HIV. And that was in 2003. I did all that just to get my granny's approval. But now, I know that I don't have to do any thing to please someone else. Mes parents, ils avaient, mes parents, ils avaient tellement peur que je reste homosexuel que quand je leur ai dit que je changeais, ils s'y ont vraiment cru. Et euh, même si mes parents ils me posaient des questions tous les jours, ils me demandaient « c'est bon, t'as changé C'est bon ?» Et comme le sexe, c'est pas possible de changer, je fais comme si j'ignorais la question, je me prends pas la tête. Et au bout d'un moment, mon père, euh, il n'en pouvait plus. Donc euh, il s'est mis à m'engueuler, à me crier dessus, à me frapper et à me dire euh, « à me dire, je sais que t'as pas changé, je sais que t'es toujours comme ça. » Et à me dire, si, si tu te fous de ma gueule, moi je vais te faire vivre un enfer et tu dois partir maintenant si, si vraiment t'es comme t'es. Alors je suis parti. J'ai pas été une seconde, je suis parti. Ne pas se sentir reconnu, ne pas se sentir compris, ne pas se sentir aimé tout simplement dans sa famille. Et ne... Aimer, oui, mais et pas aimer pour ce que l'on est. On a envie de partager quelque chose. Quand un homo, il sait pas si c'est mal ou pas mal. Et si on lui dit, mais c'est bien ça, enfin c'est bien, c'est comme ça, il pense plus. Quel, quel, c'est à peu près comme quelqu'un qui ne sait, qui, qui sait pas s'il va avoir un cancer. Il ne sait pas s'il a un cancer ou pas. Et si on lui dit, mais tu n'en as pas un, à un, un moment, il se demande ce qu'il a. Il ne sait pas si c'est si c'est grave ou pas grave. Et qu'est-ce que ça va faire Donc si on lui dit, mais ça n'y a rien de plus merveilleux qu un, qu un, que des parents qui disent, et puis, t'es es homo et puis. La seule chose, c'est qu'il faut que tu sois heureux. Pour moi, c'est tellement évident que c'est ce épui qui manque souvent. I have a son who's now 31 years old, um, who I love very much. Uh, he's gay, a gay man, and the day that he came out was quite significant. Um, I knew that he was struggling with something. He'd been suicidal, and he was 18 years old. And he said to me one day, Dad, I've got to tell you something. And I said, OK, son, tell me, what is it? And he's, he, went, he went pale. He really went white. And he said, 
I feel sick. And my heart really went out to him. And at that moment, I kind of knew that he was going to tell me he was gay. Although I hadn't made that connection, um, because he's quite masculine in his, in his traits. Um, but just at that moment, I had a sense that that's what he was going to tell me. So I said to him, son, let me guess. Let me make it easier for you, I'll guess. And he said, yeah, OK. And I said, you're going to tell me you're gay, aren't you? And he, he went, yes, I am. And, um, and I, I, just, I just really, really felt for him because it was such a struggle for him to tell me that. And everything sort of made sense because he didn't want to be gay and that's why he'd been suicidal. And so I just gave him a big hug and said, I love you anyway, son. It doesn't make any difference to how much I love you. And I, I think that our, our relationship has really been a lot stronger since then. Um, so that's been a journey in itself. Я пригласил человека к себе домой, с которым мы уже раньше общались. И потом, когда я что-то готовил на кухне, он параллельно открыл дверь, пустил своего приятеля, и мне дали бутылкой по голове. Кругом были осколки, было много крови. К моему горлу поднесли осколок бутылки, нож, и сказали, что сейчас меня убьют, потому что я... Гей. Естественно, слово гей звучало не так. Была нецензурная лексика. Мне было безумно страшно, и у меня все пересохло во рту, и, и параллельно я кучу мыслей, наверное, перекрутил. Я, я понимал, допустим, что я же не боюсь умирать. Почему мне так страшно? И я понял, что я просто не хочу умереть сейчас. Я вспомнил, как год, годом раньше я был на похоронах своего знакомого, которого убили, потому что он был геем. Я вспомнил те случаи, когда, когда действительно убивали людей. Мне стало очень страшно. On l'a enterré dans le, le cimetière de son village. Mais l'imam de, de ce quartier, et il a rassemblé les gens de la quartier, les jeunes du quartier. Ils sont partis au cimetière pour déterrer ce corps, enlever, attacher et traîner comme ça dans la rue. Et les médias, il y avait certains médias qui étaient là qui fumaient ça. Et, La police est venue. Après, la famille a récupéré le corps encore, allé enterrer le corps. Ils sont partis encore déterrer. On l'a déterré trois fois. Et finalement, on a enterré le corps dans la cour de son père. Parce qu'on dit que la religion musulmane dit quand on est homosexuel, si tu meurs, on n'a pas le droit de prier de ton corps. On n'a pas le droit de t'enterrer dans le cimetière musulman. C'est ça qu'ils disent. Je suis un homme gay de Lebanon et nous n'avons pas de droits là-bas. Et nous n'avons pas de droits dans l'Arab monde en général là-bas. Et je pense que ce que je peux faire plus, c'est ce que j'ai commencé à faire, c'est que je pense que je devrais sortir encore plus. Je suis sorti à mes parents, je suis sorti à mes amis, je suis sorti à mon travail, mais je suis sorti à mon travail. I think I want to encourage other people like me, um, which have nothing to lose. Because I have a salary, because my mom, it's proven with time, it took a time, but she's gonna love me anyway. Now she knows, she knows my boyfriend, she loves me for the way I am, my dad as well, my friends as well. Um, I think if you don't tell anyone, um, the other moms won't know that it's okay to be gay. So they're not gonna know that being gay is not just about being a drag queen or dressing like girls or being just a hairdresser maybe or a makeup artist and they need to know that people should be less shy people should be more daring when you have nothing to lose because some people have a lot to lose and those are not the people that should do the change but the ones that have nothing to lose
In, in Iraq, one of my friends was hit with a car bomb in front of me, and I chased after the trigger man with my, uh, with my squad, with one of my teams. And we were just, we wanted to kill that guy, because I can hear my buddy screaming, you know, he was hurt. And so we're running as fast as we can, and we're just, just full of hate and fury, and we just want to do whatever we can to just, you know, he hurt our friend, we're going to get him back. And we're just running, sprinting as fast as we can with all that weight, just sweat pouring off of us uh, through orange fields. And then we get to a clearing and, um, yeah, it hit me. I mean, the blue sky, it was an old man in a white robe and a child just tilling a field, you know? And that just bring me back to reality. Like, what am I doing, you know? I'm a human being. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not some instrument of what revenge. I guess I don't know. I mean, it's just like you stop and you're like, just people doing people things here where I'm supposed to, you know, where, where all this violence is happening, and you stop and you're like, um, I don't know, it makes you human again, you know. So, yeah, the nature, the beautiful, the beauty of it, uh, it all can, uh, you know, break that, that spell, I guess. I... يعني لما بيشتغل بالأرض يعني سبحان الله هي اللي بتعطيك بصمت يعني ما بتحس فيها أنه والله ضاج منك أو بتسمعك كلام أو كذا فبتشتغلي فيها أنت بتعطيك بصمت وبتعطيك أه على قد ما بتشتغل فيها على قد ما بتخدمي أنت هي كمان بتخدمك على أحسن وبصمت بدون أي أه ردة فعل منها هي ف وجميل جدا وممتاز إنه الإنسان لما بيشتغل أي شغلة وبلاقي ردة فعل وبلاقي إنتاجة إنه ظاهر إله بتناوله أيمتى ما بده بأسهل طريقة ممكنة هي الشعور الأجمل يعني quando a gente vai pegar a base de feijão para apanhar e quebrar a espiga de mim, oh, que é uma alegria. Eu mesmo amanheço o dia de hoje, já no meu roçado, buscar meu colo de feijão e minhas espigas de mim para mim comer. Aí ganho o roçado, quando eu cheguei, feijão, maduro, é seco, é meio, oh, é uma alegria. A gente fica, parece que fica 
Aquilo, a alegria é tão grande que a gente chega no Rossado, chega da vontade da gente ficar ali em pé, que é bonito. Um roçado de milho, um roçado de feijão é bonito. Mas cada vez a gente fica mais corajosa. Aonan, menem nagar lene yelenyem. Aon, tenish marat yalech, esolay godere menem bazafay kofre balalo. Ene wendim baka ene bal malet esu. Aon, kray li sarto bir tenishim biagayin lamata edwal. Menem nagar enega yelenyem. Baka betus tiyalechu, an di doro vichana tiyalech. Baswa unkulal katalech, usice shiche. Baswa chao menem betiyalon, amatiche balichya dirallo. Bakakapt, 
de betsaka de nisy ny atao hoe zany hoe fitiana masombolo fitiana sesika tsy voaverin'ny le ovy tsy voaverin'ny le vary de matsiaro zany tatsafa tena matsiaro tena hoe mangiry fitena tsiampy de azo lasaina hoe zezo ohatra ny hoe azo lasaina hoe olona tsiampy sakafo zany nisy ady nony raha zany no tatarainy eto fa Ny famoa zany toko azo tataraina zany hoe nona zany. Oui, eh ben, ça fait... Ça fait moi-même Joseph, estima Joseph, me dit, la vie me finit, dans le pays, peut-être. Et la vie pas tombée, pour le monde t'a mis en un en bâté, pour t'a joué pour vivre, à madame moi petit tout. Alors, et... Bon, moi, pas de bois, dans la région encore, Pour tout comme ça, on va pas entrer, on va le faire, on va faire notre chou bois pour racher, pour faire un sac de chabot. On doit faire une journée là, des jours, on va jouer, on va gagner pour manger, pour bâtir des gens qui ont créé dans le pays. Et on va jouer un monde par être pour dire, ben mon cher, mais ça pour, que ben ça pour, payer d'eau dans le pays. Ya, c'est coucher tout le monde à coucher pour nous mourir parce que la vie, ça te l'a vie finir. Ou ap tou kouche la, ou ap tou wet la, ou pa ganye pou bay ti moun. Ou pa ganye pou bal, ou pa ganye, ou pa ganye moun da ba ou. Eh ben, ou ap tou kouche ou moui. Eh, eh, sa trele la vi fini. Dja la vou fini, dja. A ou pa gom bet pou van. Oui. Oui, la vou fini net. Oui. अब घर में ना कुछ रही आदमी अब तब उधर न जाई बाहर है तब चुहा का बियालिया में सकार ही तब वो आदमी कोई यहाँ एक चुहा का इतनी में बाह तब कारे बजाय इतनी कोरे बजाय धारे बजाय खांची में तब वो ये एक बोरा तब ले का हमने के आए बजा तब फिर न बियान में लखा ना कोई जरे सांकारे बना ला सच्चा लाई तो धान म अन्य जहाँ भगवान दख तकलत हमने का दिल है ना तल्ले का यार भी जा घूमा तो घूमता रह जाकर ना भगवान ताकत दिया तो हमने का मिल जाए चलिए आ गया चुहा का बियाल में सल्ला का इक्यों पत्त बंग दाई पत्त बंग तिया पत्त बंग ती जुम रोक ताकरम होन फूल बाइब नहीं पुक इक्यों कुची सात रु कोची मनु करम होन न เชื่อประเทศกรมพลเหมือนเนี่ยเนี่ยก็เชื่อมนุษย์หนึ่งเกย์ได้เจ้าสมัยปุ๊กขยมก็เชื่อมนุษย์หนึ่งเกย์ได้ให้ไอ้หมอบผมพลายเตี้ยสมบัยดำน้ำมันบอกปุ๊กขยมชาวลอยขมิ้นสนละไปนี่เนี่ยรู้ได้สาไปเนี่ยรู้ได้สาสร้างองค์ปีเนี่ยสร้างจ้าเนี่ยคล้ายเกียรติเนี่ยมิ้นบ้านก็ได้สาเนี่ยสร้างได้เนี่ยสร้างคือมิ้นชีวิตในเลือดได้จ้ารู้เนื้อเนี่ยบ้านพ่อ Ban angka hop kau dah sana nak selesai. Ban nak cik ramon nak mau pemplang dari ban nak selesai. Jang nak kau mau pina nak kau cijun jit kembali dari kini dah. Kalau kau nak menmen cijun jit kembali nak men asal kembali dari kini dah. Nak mau pemplang jibat mau pemplang dia sampai dari kiri dari bapu kenyam. Dua jibu kenyam jin sahit sampai tersat kau bimim sampok dari bapu dia dah. Cie itu sepek ni nai. दुष्कर्म वाला पानी से ले पड़ ला सत्तर हजार रुपए दोन बोर मर ला सत्तर सत्तर रुपए में पानी से लग लाने पानी से लग लाना हम आता काय कर रहे समझो ना ना करती बेदान सुधा जाल लाने पानी से ना इतर कस कर रहे जो काला झार जाल बेदान ती बे जाल थोड़ा बहुत रस मुझे जब गल साली काय काट लो तोड़ता � पानी से नहीं आसमान कर्ज दर फिटा जा कसा मनों तेरी अपने दूसरों का This year, I was covering a very severe drought in Western Maharashtra, in this country. And on the one hand, I was looking at people 
you know, facing destitution due to a water crisis. On the other hand, I was looking at multi-storied buildings coming up with a swimming pool on every floor. We're not talking about buildings with three floors or four floors. There is a plan for two twin towers in Mumbai, even now under construction, 37 floors each, which means there are 74 swimming pools. It's a twin tower. And then I went and looked at who are the people doing the construction? Who are these laborers? All the laborers were landless laborers and marginal farmers who had left their villages as refugees of the water crisis, and they're in the cities building our swimming pools. The sheer humiliation of it, the sheer injustice of it. I think the fastest growing sector in India is not software or IT, it is inequality. So yeah, it makes me furious. It is completely unacceptable to me to see how closely the affluence of the few is tied to the misery of the many. That's unacceptable.
من أحد حمية يا بالله আমি একজন বাংলাদেশি মানে গার্মেন্টস কর্মী হিসাবে যেটা আমার কাছে সবচেয়ে মানে অগ্রহণযোগ্য সেটা হলো যে যখন আমাদের কোম্পানির ওনার বা আমাদের মার্কেটিং সাইডে যারা আছে তারা যখন বাইরের সাথে প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশনে বসে একটা কোনো বিষয় নিয়ে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে যখন দেখা যায় যে অন্যান্য দেশে যখন তারা প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশন করে বাংলাদেশের সময় সব সময় চিন্তা করে যে এদের প্রাইসটা একটু স্লো হবে যদি বাইররা এটা চিন্তা করে এইভাবে যে আসলে কোয়ালিটিফুল গার্মেন্ট কোয়ালিটিফুল গার্মেন্ট যদি বাংলাদেশ থেকে যায় তাহলে ন্যায্য মূল্য কেন আমি দিব না তাহলে তো আমরা সবসময় অবহেলিতই হচ্ছি ঠিক না তো এটা তো এটার জন্য তো ওয়ার্ল্ডই দায়ী এটার জন্য তো বেসিক্যালি কেউ এককভাবে দায়ী না 
কারণ এটার জন্য যার সাথে আমার যে ফাইনাল কাস্টমার সেই আমাকে ঠকাচ্ছে তা আমি কি করতে পারি হোয়াট ক্যান হোয়াট উই ক্যান হাউ উই বি হ্যাপি হাউ然后我们厂里面的规矩是很多的上班不准聊天上班不准接电话还有上厕上厕所的话也要要呃上上面领导要跟领导说可以去才可以去只有一个人可以去两个人就不可以去每去每去还还有那个产量很高哦他他每个小
то рідне, то гніздечко, та моя хатинка, в якій я виросла, в якій я зросла, і де горить вогник, коли я прийду, і мама мене буде чекати при світлі, той вогник мене кличе додому, до України. Мої діти і моя мама, вони на мене чекають. І, напевно, тут все є, багатство є, все є. Але я не знаю, чи то в мене така душа, вона рветься додому. Ді чан ко пен пу юнь тамган ган кюн, на ха. Ді чан тонг сі сала тук яң, пе пе кроб кво, на ха. Па ме ді чан ко там лай там суан. ไม่ได้มีฐานะที่ดีดิฉันก็เลยต้องดิ้นรนค่ะเมื่อก่อนยังมียังมีแฟนช่วยหรือว่าฮัสเบิร์นนะคะทีนี้แบบคือเราต้องแยกทางกันนะคะมันมันเป็นปัญหาที่แบบว่ามันไม่ดีเลยเหรอคะดิฉันก็เลยต้องทำงานหนักคนเดียวเพื่อจะส่งเสียให้ลูกสาวได้เรียนได้มีความรู้ที่ดีแล้วก็อยากให้เขาไม่อยากให้เขาลำบากเหมือนเหมือนตัวเก๋เองนะคะไม่ดิฉันไม่อยากให้เขาลำบากดิฉันยอมเหนื่อยยอมเหนื่อยยอมคือเหนื่อยเหนื่อยมากๆเลยค่ะเหนื่อยมากๆบางครั้งก็มันเป็นอะไรที่แบบว่าไม่รู้จะอธิบายให้ใครฟังค่ะดิฉันต้องต้องต้องเสียสละมากๆ Sí, pues nosotros andamos cortando caña y es muy duro el trabajo de nosotros. Pero pues a ver qué nos queda, que tenemos que trabajar, aunque, aunque sea tan duro el trabajo, de, porque no nos queda otra. Sí. Para irla pasando, aunque sentimos que nos quema el sol, pero pues ahí andamos trabajando. Tenemos que echarle ganas para que tengamos que comer, si no, pues no hay nada para comer. Entonces, ¿qué se puede decir tan polimegalo? Και περισσότερο μεγάλο ήταν το σοκ που δεν μπορούσα να, ξανα, να ξαναβρω δουλειά. Ξέρεις, εγώ δούλευα 27 χρόνια περίπου. Όταν ε, αναγκάστηκα να γυρίσω πίσω στη μητέρα μου, αισθάνθηκα... Το πρώτο μου συνέστημα ήταν ταπείνωση, δηλαδή είναι αυτό που, που σε κάνει και σε καταρακώνει. Σιγά σιγά αυτό την καταράκωση πήγαινε όλο και πιο κάτω, σε έστανε και πιο κάτω, πολύ κάτω. Σε αναγκάζει να λες ότι, ωραία, είμαι 47 χρονών, τελείωσε η ζωή μου. Αυτά είχα να δώσω. Δεν έχω να δώσω τίποτα άλλο. Και αυτές οι σκέψεις σε κάνουν να μην θε να βγεις έξω από το σπίτι σου, να μην θες να μιλήσεις τον ίδιο, να πηγαίνεις να βλέπεις τον εαυτό σου τον καθρέφτη και να λες, ποιο είσαι ρε μαλάκα, τι κάνεις. Τι κάνεις, τι προσφέρεις σε αυτή τη ζωή, γιατί ανασένεις. Γιατί να βλέπεις τον ήλιο εσύ. Τι είναι αυτό που σε κάνει χρήσιμο μέλος σε αυτό, σε αυτό το, το μπουρδέλο εδώ που ζεις. Τι είναι. Γιατί αναγκάστηκες να πας στα 47 σου χρόνια στη μάνα σου. Γιατί φοβήθηκες να μείνεις στον δρόμο. Ναι, φοβήθηκα να μείνεις στον δρόμο. Αυτή η ταπείνωση μετά γίνει το οργή. Γίνει το οργή γιατί θες να ξεσπάσεις σε κάπου και δεν ξέρεις πού.
जब जब पाकिस्तान से मैं निकला था तो जैसे जैसे हालात थे वहाँ पे कि स्पेशली मेरी वाइफ को भी पता था कि जैसे हमारे हालात हैं उधर मैं अपने बच्चों को सपोर्ट नहीं कर सकता था अच्छी तलीम सेहत नहीं दे सकता था उसकी कुर्बानी है मेरे लिए मेरी फैमिली के लिए मेरी भी कुर्बानी है मेरी फैमिली की भी कुर्बानी है कि उन्हें मुझे इजाज़त दी कि मैं बाहर जाके कुछ ऐसा कर सकूँ कि कम अज़ कम अपने बच्चों को तालीम दे सकूँ अच्छी सेहत दे सकूँ और उनकी वो तमाम बुनियादी ज़रूरियात को पूरा कर सकूँ और जिस दिन मैं पाकिस्तान से निकला था वो दिन नहीं बोलता मेरे दोस्त थे मेरे साथ कुछ मेन गेट से मेरी अम्मी आई हैं बाहर निकली हैं उन्होंने मेरा बेटा उठाया था वो गोद में तो मैं जब गाड़ी में बैठा हुआ था तो मेरा बेटा उन्होंने मेरी गोद में ला रखा था मुझे बोला था कि इसको देख ले पता नहीं कब नेक्स्ट टाइम तू इसे देखेगा तो वो मुझे नहीं बोलेगा कभी भी वो मेरा बच्चा मेरी आंखों में अभी तक मुझे वो नज़र आ रहा है ऐसे Corruption, c'est ça qui mine mon pays. Il y en a tellement de corruption. Moi, j'ai un niveau CAP. J'avais plus, je n'ai pas pu trouver juste un petit travail qui peut me donner un salaire de 40 000 ou 50 000 pour avoir une petite rémunération à la fin du mois. Je n'ai pas pu. Il me faut avoir les contacts, les relations, tout ça. Je suis fils de pauvre, ce n'est pas de ma faute. Je suis né fils de pauvre. Et je ne regrette pas. Je dis merci à mes parents chaque jour. Je n'en veux pas mes parents d'être pauvres, c'est pas eux qui ont voulu. Mais mon pays, quand tu es pauvre, t'as pas trop bonheur. Mais c'est pas ça la vie. Allah n'a pas de soudain, 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 n'a pas de soudain. ونحن ذا نزات غاية بس المهم أنقذني بس يندك يعني ربنا بس أداني طول العمر بس وصلت هنا في فرنسا وخرجت من البلاد وأنا كان ما أعرف عن نفسي أن أكون حي بالطريقة زي ذات يعني أنا كنت تعبان نفسيا يعني كنت فقدت وصرت كله والحمد لله انا زاد كنت تعبان شديد وعذبوني ودقوني وربطوني غنى الواحد اكل ما ياكل من الصباح وقلت لك صفق بتشير وقول لك اكل انت ما بشر زاد انت حيوان اعتبار يعني وانا قدامي كده اختصب اخواتي قدامي انا لما مرة لما جات مرة ذاتها قاموا جلدوها وقاموا يختصموا مرتي قدام انا وانا بكون حي انا اقدر اقعد كيف في البلد زي ده ونحن الناس مساكين نحن الناس مزارية بنزرع بناكل منا بنشتغل حبة تجارة بنصرف منا والحمد لله نحن ما 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 جعانين والله نحن الحمد لله ببلدنا نحن بنزرع زراعة بكفينا وعندنا بهايم ما شاء الله ما ما, ما يعني عندنا بهايم ما شاء الله يعني ما احنا ما ناقصين ما ناقصين في او او قروش ما ناقصين في ان 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 اكل والحمد لله نحن مرتاحين بنزرع بناكل لكن الحكومه ما ريحتنا الحكومه كيف نحن نقدر نقعد في البلاد؟ When I was in the boat I I was very scared because I don't see nothing absolutely only a water and the boat also It's not a quality boat. We are 110 people inside the boat. I'm nobody comfortable because no food to eat, no water to drink. Yeah, you are sitting in that fuel. You know, destroy all my body. Things was hard for me. So when I when I see the Italian, they come and rescue us. Yeah, I thank God. Yeah, I know that now I'm safe. ñom tamit nek nañ seen deug nata fi bu fi liggey amon ñun fi lañuy dess mi liggey mo fi amon da ngay gis kërëk lëmm nit xëyd yi te da ko juk liggey amon fi bo demul geej doy def do def dara lolo waral ñu bari dem jaayante dess ci geej ji ñi dess Mauritanie ñi dess Noir Shot ñi dess Morok xam nga ñi ñu sanni leen ci bir geej ji ñi ñu duggu ñi ñu sanni leen Arizeli di dox di dox di dox di dox bu duggal man jaral na ma man xamna ni man dina demal 
Il y a une Italie. Mais il y a une autre chose. 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 Now I'm living in jungle of Kali. And I try too much to go to London, but the border is very, clo very close. It is not uh, possible for anybody. In the, pe the people ask me about the money, but I don't have any money because I don't have anybody in my back and I don't have anybody in my front. Now I live in jungle. The police come and they dis disturb us and they said, you have to leave the jungle. I said, we are, I, I have to go. We are, I have to go. Show me the place. We want to go to that. He said, you have to go back to your country. I said, where is my country? I don't have a country, man. It's a killing ground. It's a ground of killing the, the people. It's a ground of, of, of fighting. It is not a country. It's a Afghanistan. It's not a country now. It's a killing ground, man. 37 countries come to control that country, but they cannot control these people. The union cannot control these people. How can I, you, you have to send me back to that country? And they killed, they, I lost my family in that country. How can I go to that country back? I was refugee in Pakistan. I was refugee in Iran. I was refugee in uh, Dubai. I was refugee in uh, the Turkey. I was refugee in Bulgaria. I was refugee in European country in Greece. And I, now I'm, I'm a refugee in France. But let me to live, man. I don't want anything from you. I don't want anything from you. I don't from, want any, anything from you. I don't need the help, but le let me to leave. Je m'étais fait arrêter et conduit dans un commissariat par la police. Et là, ils m'ont demandé mes papiers, plus précisément ma carte de séjour. Je leur ai dit que je n'avais pas. Ils ont insisté. Et je leur ai répondu que quand je naissais, je ne suis pas sorti du ventre de ma maman avec les papiers. Ils disent, mais on veut tes papiers. Je leur ai dit, je suis citoyen du monde. Partout où je me trouve, j'ai le droit à la vie. Sans papier, est-ce que je n'ai pas droit à la vie? Iben kanya do ite nga na kontolo, may biko na alhamdulillah na konfle na ite lahalisini be kau kau kujaro. Seba nyo kana oni balmam ni sinju mumbe alisini na be kau bela jale na jaro. Ako nga na demen doye ni na inya soro be ka fein na aude be ka fein ni fasore ni ya fein soro yara biama alang hakili baola jian fara lahara ka anga nyo an demen doye alibi. Seba konte nyo follow me anga nyo an demen doye be bela jale nga nfo. See? 
Moi-même, moi c'est un pauvre. Ma défini pauvreté maintenant. Qui ça pour moi une pauvreté? C'est les besoin à l'école, bac à l'école. Besoin manger, bac à manger. Besoin dormir, bac à dormir. Petite moi madame moi tout à souffrir. Là, bac gagne au niveau intellectuel qui avancé pour me sortir dans situation mia ni moun mwen yo là me senti vraiment pauvre corps physique lan pauvre mental la pauvre et ou même riche qui a tande yo qui ça que nous vle parler des riches là so i i know that that i'm less happy with more money and I know that I still want more. And um, it's, it's, it is a, it reminds me, you know, whether it's sex or money or, or any of these transient things, um, somehow you can't rationalize yourself into um, wanting less. I like things and I, I pursue the things, but the things only make me happy for a short period of time. And and uh, and then I go back and I have the challenges of my family and I and I don't know how to to make a depressed person happy. You can't you can't give them a thing and make them happy because their brain is not happy. So I, I feel frustrated that that the, the cures don't exist and I can't just wave a magic wand and make my son. better. Eu morava num lugar aonde era cercado de mansões e eu morava em barraco. E eu sabia que aquelas pessoas às vezes jogava comida fora no lixo. E a gente, eu principalmente, com fome. 
querendo um pouco de comida para comer. Para mim, a pobreza me entristece, mas me entristece por causa da injustiça. Porque se todo mundo tivesse alimento, pelo menos alimento, em casa, ela podia raciocinar. Raciocínio é inteligência. Então, poderia ser pobre em casa, de morar em barraco, mas teria inteligência na cabeça para poder sair dali. Eu, graças a Deus, eu consegui vencer isso. Mas e quantos outros não conseguem? E muitos até morrem por isso. Isso é muito triste. Para mim, é injustiça pura. La rue est une école très dure. Euh, la pauvreté est un état dans lequel je suis actuellement, mais à force de le vivre quotidiennement, non pas on s'y complaît, mais on s'y habitue, tout simplement. La pauvreté est un état, mais... C'est un état... qui dure. Et pour beaucoup. Pour beaucoup trop. Some of the most generous people I know have no money. And that's how it should be. When we have no money, it's a different lifestyle. When you see the old people, uh, there was no, in our language, we have no such word as please or thank you, because it is what is expected of us is that we share and we give what we have. Today, we have to say please, we have to say thank you, we have to beg for things. In the old days, it was just a giving thing that we would share things. That was a part of who we are. And not only for Aboriginal people, I expect people all around the world would do the same things before money. But nowadays, it's mine. There are words like mine. We don't share our things anymore. And it's become, it kills, kills us as human beings, as a society, of, as, a, as, a, as a race. When I say race, I'm talking about the human race. But we deny other people shelter. We deny other people food. We deny other people their survival purely because of money. Why would I die? What the hell I'm doing here? Why can't you build, build every child, y'all build your wife and see what the hell going on? Let's switch for a minute. <laughs> Let's switch. You come here and be me and I go there and be you. Then when we meet up in this mid line of the equator, then we'll pick up and uh uh. <laughs>
Lo diferente es que nuestra forma de vivir, nuestros valores, son la expresión media de la sociedad que nos toca vivir. Eh, y nos aferramos a eso. Pero no ahora por ser presidente. Esto lo pensamos mucho, pasamos más de 10 años de soledad en el calabozo. Y tuvimos tiempo, tuvimos siete años sin leer un libro. Y tuvimos mucho tiempo para pensar. Y descubrimos esto. O logras ser feliz con poco y liviano de equipaje, porque la felicidad está dentro tuyo. O no logras nada. Esto no es una apología de la pobreza. Esto es una apología de la sobriedad. Y, pero como hemos inventado una sociedad de consumo, consumista, y la economía tiene que crecer, porque si no crece es una tragedia, inventamos una montaña de consumo superfluo, y hay que tirar y, y vivir comprando y tirando, y lo que estamos gastando es tiempo de vida. Porque cuando yo compro algo, o tú, no lo compras con plata. Lo compras con el tiempo de vida que tuviste que gastar para tener esa plata. Pero con esta diferencia. La única cosa que no se puede comprar es la vida. La vida se gasta. Y es miserable gastar la vida para perder libertad.
Non sa yi ki bero, un pouso wende, ton pa m goule, un pa m taba, un douge, nè nga vien a mette tum biga, ta kien a baba zak mwa ti gehe bi kalafi, un tum kara, kien ka ti gehe baba yi kalafi, un tum kara bambo ta, ab san wale bran sera taba, ab yen a ton to fan yi kalafi, ton su, mam suri a noro, ab fan yi kalafi, ba kabela. <rire> Alors, vu que moi j'ai passé une enfance difficile et sans argent, je suis arrivé à l'université, j'ai eu ma première bourse d'installation et je suis allé payer une moto, toute neuve. J'étais la première personne à la mettre en marche J'étais la première personne à monter dessus pour arriver à la maison. Ce moment où je sens le vent me taper quand je circule, le fait de savoir que je ne suis pas derrière la moto d'une tierce personne, c'est ma moto à moi. Ah. Je suis arrivé à la maison et pour dormir la nuit, j'ai mis la moto dans ma chambre et j'ai enfermé avec moi. Comme ça, je peux sentir l'odeur du moteur chaud là. Voilà l'odeur du moteur, l'odeur du neuf. Et quand j'allume la lumière la nuit, je vois que ça, c'est ma moto à moi. Franchement, c'est parce que je ne pouvais pas mettre la moto sur le lit, dans, sous ma couverture. C'est ça que j'aurais fait. Oui, là, là, là j'ai eu. Oui, ça, c'était un moment très, très, très heureux pour moi. Je <laughs> Losing half of my body has forced me to balance the other areas of my life in a mental and spiritual manner. So, as a human living on this planet, I feel that I've, I've worked things out for my own life. I'm so mentally strong, and the only reason that has come is because of losing my legs physically. You know, my eyesight's sharper, my ears are... I can hear much better. So that's on a physical sense, but I feel I'm lucky as in... I don't analyse or question life too much. I can... I can cruise through life and... and always be in the right place at the right time. I always have amazing things happen to me. I'm, I'm really lucky in that situation. But that comes from believing in, in luck or believing in the power of attraction or believing in, in, in attracting the goodness into one's life. And I think 
that can be seen as luck. Um, so if God himself jumped down in front of me right now and said to me, Bruno, I'll give you back your legs, but I'll take away all that you've learned over the last 13 years. I'll tell God, keep your legs. Because just my experiences from being in a wheelchair and traveling the world in a wheelchair, I've seen life from a different angle. And that's taught me on a spiritual level to just accept and to be happy What's whatever's coming next. Счастье, счастье, когда дети любят возвращаться в твой дом. Это как мое материнское счастье. Счастье, когда муж заходит, улыбается, поцелует в щечку спустя 33 года замужества. Это тоже счастье, но счастье уже женское. Счастье, когда внуки бегут навстречу и своим ангельским голосом кричат «Бабочка!». Вот именно когда бабочка кричат, а не бабушка, когда повзрослеет. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда на работу приходишь в коллектив, и тебя встречают. Встречают и радуются, что вот пришла, значит, можно пообщаться. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда утром встаешь, и у тебя нету боли с букетом болезней. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда дождик идет, значит, урожай будет. Счастье много, и в то же время оно одно. Живешь, значит счастлив. A minha felicidade é eu olhar dentro da minha casa como pobre, né? Eu tenho uma televisão, eu tenho uma geladeira, eu tenho uma máquina de lavar roupa. Eu vejo a minha filha bem, eu vejo meu filho bem. O meu filho de 15 anos está no último ano do estudo, já vai fazer um, um curso para daqui a pouco ser alguém na vida. Isso para mim é felicidade, é, é uma felicidade imensa, sem tamanho, sem explicação. Que eu cheguei lá, eu consegui chegar lá, sem deixar meus filhos passarem provações. Дурацкое состояние, когда хочется э, сдержать слезы, а они все равно есть. Самые счастливые моменты — это моменты рождения детей. Ну, ничего не сравнится. Я чувствовал, что 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 я чувствовал, Вот представляете, приносит вам палат вот такого маленького-маленького комочка. И смотришь на него, а он такой маленький, щупленький, личик такой. И когда ему первый раз даешь грудь, вот это вот, наверное, самые счастливые дни. La familia para mí es este comunión. Es estar, llegar a tu casa y encontrar a alguien que te abrace y te diga, qué bueno que estás aquí. Ayudar a mis hermanos a hacer algo que ellos no pueden, que yo ya pude, por ser una, uno de los mayores. Enseñarle, ver a mi papá llegar del trabajo, satisfecho, sentado en su sillón, y pues poderle servir un café. Creo que me hace sentir bien. Algo que como que te llena por dentro. Y si te falta uno, te queda como que un hueco en, en el corazón, así como que, ah, diablos, ¿qué pasó? ¿Dónde estoy? Creo que la familia es algo feliz, notable. Es otra cosa. Te llena. Um, I think when I was young, I didn't think I was going to stay in um, the community of religious that I was had joined. And I suppose I didn't understand what I was actually doing and that I was maybe making a decision which meant that I wouldn't have children and I wouldn't have a family as other people had. I didn't think, I don't really think I understood that. But later in life, I had a sister who died um, of cancer and 
when I saw her family, I realized that when I died, there wouldn't be anybody to mourn me in the same way. It is, as time goes on, then you recognize that you are a parent to other people who you work with or who are friends or who are related to you in some way. So even though you haven't your own family, you have family. So I think that's important to me. Ça peut sembler euh, très bizarre, mais il est très difficile de dire à mes parents que je les aime, en fait, tout simplement. Euh, je crois que c'est tellement puissant, c'est un sentiment tellement fort qu'au moment venu, euh, on n'a plus les mots, on ne se dit pas « je t'aime euh, »,« je t'aime maman »,« je t'aime papa », ça ne se dit pas chez nous. Enfin, malheureusement, mais pourtant, euh, on s'aime comme tout le monde. Hein. <rire> Très, très fort, même. C'est ça qui est difficile. J'aimerais pouvoir trouver un jour la force de leur dire, vraiment, avec des mots, avant, avant qu'il soit trop tard. Je me sali à los 12 ans de la casa de mes abuelitos pour maltrato. Donc, je me suis à la calle, j'ai eu la nuit, j'ai eu solita, j'ai eu frio. Et puis, mm, me daban ganas de regresarme. Pues, porque, pues, no sé, me daba miedo que algo me fuera a pasar. Pero, pues, dije, no, porque, pues, ¿qué tal si va a ser peor? No, no sé que porque me salí, ya no me van a dejar salir. Entonces, dije, no, pues, mejor sigo mi camino para que, pues, a ver si me pueden independizar yo misma. Lo que nunca podría perdonar fue, sería a mi madre porque haberme vendido no fue una buena idea. Si ella tuvo algún problema, lo hubiera aceptado, pero nunca fue, no fue conveniente que ella me vendiera, porque somos sus hijos y le dolió tenernos. Y pues eso es lo que nunca yo perdonaría. Lo más difícil para mí de, pues, de toda mi vida, la, el fallecimiento de mi papá. Porque, pues... Ay. Ay, me quiero llorar. Este... Ay. Fue con el que me apoyaba mucho. El que, pues... No, se acaba adelante a mis hermanos y a mí. Yo no le tengo miedo ya a nada, porque viví muchas cosas feas y ya estoy acostumbrado. Pero no le tengo casi miedo a nada. Me sin... No, que te vamos a pegar, que te voy a matar. Les digo, no, no les tengo miedo. Y si ustedes lo hacen, no, no les voy a tener miedo, les dije. Sí, a mí, bueno, a mí mi papá me decía que a pesar de todo lo que, todo, a pesar de todos mis, tro, mis tropiezos que tenga, siempre para arriba. O sea, si me caigo, volverme a levantar. Y así, si me caigo, levantarme y levantarme. Porque pues eso es lo que me ayuda a mí. Y pues si vivo en el pasado, pues siempre estaría llorando, siempre estaría de amargada, no amistosa, o sea, nada. Sino pues, no, sino ser juguetona y estar sonriendo. Porque si vivo en el pasado, pues de nada me sirve. Si no hay que vivir el presente. Tu 
Visste här i nattens bo Alla sover stilla Kossorna och ängarna Alla sover stilla Under stjärnors himla valv Under månens jorda fall Kan du drömma och sova So the defining point in my life was when I was living in a women's refuge centre in a supported flat and I witnessed the tragic death of a friend from a drug overdose. I had to stand up in court and tell his parents why this poor lad had lost his life. And I just remember thinking my life could have gone down two paths. I could follow him to death or I could do something with my life. And a few days later, I walked into my local college and I asked them, please teach me, I want to learn. And there was an amazing tutor there at that point in time, and his name was Paul. And Paul said to me, come and learn with me, I'll teach you. I do a sport course, 
and I want you to be on that course, Sophie. Uh, and I just remember thinking, you know, this guy's amazing. You know, I've got no qualifications and he's willing to take me on. And Paul used to come to the homeless hostels and pick me up and he'd take me to the boxing ring. And I remember one day having this boxing match with Paul and punching him in the stomach and him screaming in pain. And I asked him what was wrong and he told me he had stomach cancer. Paul spent the last two years of his life engaging with me and making my, me believe in myself. He lost his life before I graduated at college, but it was that one person that believed that I could make it to university, you know, and, and the fact that he'd done this for the last two years of his life, you know, what an exceptional person to be facing death and say, I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna go out and help people and make them believe in themselves. And it was that, that one person that did that for me that made me think, do you know what, I can do it. Этот ребенок, которого я ждал, я сына ждал всю жизнь. То есть у меня были старшие девчонки, и я ждал помощника. И сейчас, и сейчас хочу еще так же, чтобы был у меня ребенок помощник. Но у меня помощник в том, что он мне подсказывает, он мне молчит, он смотрит на меня. Когда мы с ним что-то делаем, где-нибудь строгаем, стучим, я ему объясняем и, и проговариваю. Есть такая притча. Когда Господь сидел и распределял, кому, какого ребенка, какую семью отправить, ангелы сидят и говорят, Господи, почему ты этого тяжелого ребенка даешь такую семью? Им, им, им так хорошо, они живут счастливо. Зачем им это? А он говорит, это мне для того, чтобы они могли... Ему донести, что есть я. Листочек на дереве, ветер. И я постоянно проговариваю ему. Я проговариваю его об этом. Я ему говорю, Алеша, вот это, это листик. Это радость. Мы с ним выходим ночью. Я ему объясняю, что такое звезды. Я говорю, сын, я говорю, звезды. А он, он видит это и смотрит на меня взрослыми глазами, не по возрасту. Еще не такое, что дух, который в нем живет, он намного сильнее меня. И он меня ведет. Ведет меня, нашу семью, детей. И поэтому я только сейчас начинаю понимать, что такое любовь. Изначально любовь к себе. Потому что для того, чтобы жить вместе, Надо любить себя, любить себя, любить свою жену, любить своих детей, в том числе старших, любить своих родственников, родителей, родителей моей живы, любить людей, любить людей по, по сути. А суть одна. Тут только любовь может спасти этот мир. The magic moment that I had with my grandfather was right after my grandmother died. And I went to go see him and I knew that he was hurting but I wasn't sure what kind of state he would be in. And she was his partner 65 years as well as his driver. And I went to see him and said, Grandpa, how are you doing? He said, did you know that for $4, I can get a shuttle anywhere in the city? I was like, wow, that's 
great, Grandpa. And he said, well, I went to Savon, I went to the grocery store and went to the woman behind the counter and said, I have this list of things. Could you help me find them? My wife has recently changed her residence to heaven. And I said, Grandpa, man, you always help me see the glasses half full. And he leaned back and he looked me in the eyes and he said, it's a beautiful glass.
Betul pilih mana, mau apa? Betul pilih kasih ya. Cuma kalau mau lene pani, cuma lene pani mu lebih nido. Cuma mu ni pakar ni. Sapa ni mata tekel ba? Mata tekel ni no, i ni no buca, ni no. Eh, ni tadi, eh, tukar tadi. Ada mula, cuma cuma misi dan nanti kui, mu, cuma ni. Apa yang awak? Oh, iya, pilih yang. Eh, eh, awak ikut ni, awak usian, be, opera pal boleh sebab. Quand on va à terre, on va au ciel, on prend pas le bon chemin. Alors, je ne pense pas qu'il y ait une vie après la mort, moi. Je n'y crois pas du tout à ça. J'ai peur d'avoir été euh, anonyme, de, de passage sans, sans rien laisser. Euh, de concret, ni à mes enfants, ni, ni à personne. Qu'est-ce que je vais laisser Quand je pense à ma grand-mère, que j'aimais énormément et qui est morte depuis longtemps maintenant, je me dis, le souvenir s'efface à toute vitesse. L'image devient floue. Quelquefois, même le son de la voix disparaît. Qu'est-ce qu'on laisse Qu'est-ce qui reste J'ai peur de ça. C'est une peur qui est totalement irrationnelle. Euh... Qui, qui repose sur, sur quelque chose de, de complètement archaïque, de complètement tribal, je pense, parce que ça me, ça me remue terriblement. Et euh, je ne crois pas que ce soit quelque chose qui soit de l'ordre de, de l'orgueil ou, ou quelque chose comme ça. Euh, C'est autre chose. Ça rejoint un peu le, le sens de, de la vie. Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait là qu qu pourquoi, pourquoi je suis là euh, je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Qu'est-ce que je laisse J'aimerais laisser quelque chose, oui. J'aimerais laisser une trace. Une trace. Et le sentir de la vie... Quizá me veo, no sé si es por una cuestión de que me veo, no me siento muy importante, no creo que seamos tan importantes, entonces no le veo, no veo la vida como algo. La vida se lleva. Todos estuvieron, todos están y todos vamos a dejar de estar. Para volver en tan jinda él y Evani. कि हमरे जर से एक दो बच्चा और हुए हैं उनको बढ़िया तरह से जिंदगी का परवस्ती हम बचपन से ये बरत तक ले कर देता जब हम बुजुर्ग हो जाए तो हमार परवस्तन वो कर दिलो। मेरी सबसे बड़ी पीर है ये 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 de ne pas savoir euh, qu'est-ce que je fais là, à quoi ça sert, euh, si ça a un sens, de, de ne servir à rien, de, de vraiment ne servir à rien, moi, homme parmi les hommes, j'ai l'impression que il y a une, une dynamique universelle et si j'en fais pas partie, ça va me briser. J'ai envie j'ai envie de faire partie de l'histoire de l'humanité. Me being 15 with a life sentence, what can be the meaning of my life? That is a hard question, but I think the meaning of my life could be, you know, happiness, making everything right, helping out young and older people, you know, just help one another, you know, and stand for something. 
And just stay out of trouble. Don't come to prison. I know that ain't no meaning in them life. This ain't no place for nobody. But I don't know. Everybody had their own purpose, so I don't know what my purpose is. And I don't really, I don't know about that question. <laughs> Tem alguma pergunta mais fácil, não? Tá. <risos> ah, o sentido da vida. Às vezes eu penso uma, uma frase que eu escutei quando era muito garoto, assim, de um amigo falando, poxa, é, a vida é, é como carregar uma mensagem da criança que você foi um dia pro velho que você vai ser amanhã e tentar não deixar essa mensagem se perder, se desfazer. Muitas vezes eu me pego perguntando isso, porque quando eu era criança eu pensava tantas coisas bonitas, assim, tão lindas. Nossa, eu quero um mundo sem mendigos, todo mundo feliz. E aí, coisas tão simples, assim, tão sutis, mas... Às vezes a gente perde isso, né? A vida faz a gente perder. Daqui a pouco a gente tá só trabalhando para poder comprar coisas e, e tá nem aí pro mendigo, nem olha, não ajuda ninguém. Aí você fala, cara, cadê aquela mensagem da criança, né? Talvez a vida, o sentido da vida seja, seja não deixar essa mensagem da criança, sei lá, desaparecer. E se E se na canção nazana, putina nazana mukili. Nazana mukili. Po na na sala oyo nzambe atina nga na sala na mukili. Parce que na mukili mutu mutu azwana mission na o nzamba tindela yi. Nga pe na za mukili po na mission na nga yi mais nzambe nda yebi. Nga na yebi ona nte. I'm not afraid of dying. I don't know if God exists or not, but I choose to believe. And when I look at the universe, I hope there's a place where our spirits can go and where we'll recognize each other. And as well as my parents, I would really love to meet again my best friend, Shawnee, who died when he was 21. And I'd love to spend time with him hitchhiking through heaven as we used to do as youth here on earth. I also would love to meet the many good people throughout the generations who try to make a better world and who try to work for a world of justice and peace. For me, that's what's most important. And indeed, when we look at the great religions and philosophies and ideologies, and when we try to simplify the complex dogmas and theologies, it all comes down to love. So I hope my spirit is taken up in a great ballet and a great cosmic dance of love where there's no more suffering and there's no more sorrow, where we can no longer hurt or be hurt and where we can truly celebrate the great gift of consciousness, the great gift of being, the great gift of life. And if in the end there is no God, I'm still thankful for the gift of life. I've often thought the last two words I would like to utter just before I die, or thank you. Thank you for the gift of life.
তাই তোমাদের আমি বলছি মা আমার আমার দিকে তোমরা তাকায় তাহলে ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দিও তোমাদের আমি অনেকবার বলেছি আজকেও বলছি তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও ড্রাগ নাও ভালো না মানুষের শরীরে অনেক ক্ষতি হয় তুমি যদি আমাকে মনে করো যে আমি তোমার মেয়ে তাহলে তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও En fait, j'ai un, un cadet, j'ai un petit frère qui, qui est mort, effectivement. Donc, il a laissé une petite fille de 4 ans. Et ça, là, malheureusement, encore la maman de, sa fille, de cette fille encore est morte. Donc, j'aimerais dire à ce frère-là qu'il qu ne se fait pas de soucis pour cet enfant. Parce que je connaissais l'amour de ce, de ce frère-là par rapport à sa fille. Qu'il sache que cet enfant est en, est en des bonnes mains, que je m'occupe très bien de lui. ดิฉันเป็นผู้หญิงกลางคืนก็อยากส่งข้อความให้คุณพ่อคุณแม่ว่าตอนนี้ไม่ต้องเป็นห่วงแล้วนะคะสบายใจได้เลยตอนนี้หนูทําหน้าที่ของเต็มที่แล้วดูแลน้องได้รักษาน้องได้ให้น้องอยู่บ้านส่งน้องเรียนจะสัญญาว่าจะส่งให้น้องเรียนจนจบไม่ให้น้องลําบากแล้วถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนต่อให้กันจบสูงๆเพราะว่าหนูก็ดีใจที่ว่าน้องได้เรียนจบสูงเพราะหนูไม่มีโอกาสได้เรียนถ้ายังไงก็ถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนจบให้ได้มากที่สุดจนเราแบบว่าจนคิดว่าหนูไม่มีปัญญาส่งน้องเรียนจบแล้วก็แค่นั้นค่ะ When I was seven years old, my father went to prison for assassinating Rabbi Meir Kahana, and then in 1993 he co-masterminded the bombing of the World Trade Center in which six people were killed and over a thousand people were injured. And if he were sitting in front of me today. I would want to know why he chose that path. I would want to know if he did it for fame, or did you do it for your religion? Did you do it because you thought maybe you were going to create a better world for your family? Did you think about your family? Did you wonder if you would be able to escape and maybe you wouldn't go to prison and? and And you know we would all live somewhere happily together afterward. Uh, after 22 years in prison, I would want to know if you felt like the actions you took all those many years ago were worth it, and would you do it all over again if you had the chance to make that choice again? Safishayin, a b i a g u l h m l k m and don't forget who you are. And always smile because smiling is the only language that everyone understands. Yes. Eh, I think that my father and I have met each other. Eh, I have been able to meet many people. Eh, I have been able to meet many people. Eh, I have been able to meet many people. Eh, I have been able to meet many people. Eh, I have been able to meet many people. Eh, I have been able to meet many people. Eh, I have been able to meet many people. You've, <clears throat> you've brought up a lot of things for me today. You've made me feel important. You've made me feel that I have something to offer. Uh, you made me feel that I had a place to go. You made me feel like my stories were welcome, and you made me feel happy. I think people need to feel that they've done something uh, while they've lived. They need to feel that they've contributed, and today you made me feel like I contributed, and I am very grateful to you for that. Thank you. I just h a t m a n g a n d a y o m u m a d a a n d u n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a n g a Ivani, where the story grab u r i n a l i a camera ba w a k i n i a w a l i m i t i n i jana story u r i n a piva w i n i m i n i ula ba Manuel ba m o v i ba minu ni kramu ni yali yali na mama s n a m b a y e n a n i a very lots p i k a n o k u p r a g u yolo kuna ma i d r a n i g i a n a d u k o taba taba m o v i m e n ni kramu n a n i d u k u na ma g i n i g i a n i w o r u k u r a ba m a k r i n i มาทุกวันยันนั่งเบอร์มาทุกวันยันนั่งเบอร์นี่นานีน่าสบายมีอะไรบ้างอะไรก็มาหนูนับว่า
ni nama agama masih. Tahun ini. Angkut kau tu raga raya wakil itu ada juga baca di nuwak media, ga uri wak media boh ina baca baca di, amek wakil itu ana garta. Good boy. 